Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface with the Baleful Bukake Gear Guide to Patch 6.2. Kids, don't Google that word. Your parents will freaking kill you, I promise you. So what exactly is Baleful Gear? Well, Baleful Gear is the gear that drops in Tanam Jungle that Blizzard shoot at you and shoot at you and shoot at you and shoot at you and it's all over your face and it's dripping off your shoulders and it's coming down your... Well, you kind of get the drift. Yeah, there's a lot of it in Tanan, and it all kind of interlocks with this Arakawa bastard who's going to become a quartermaster in your latest garrison outpost. When you first arrive here, he'll give you a single solitary quest to kill a rare mob and get a corrupted Apexis crystal fragment from them. When you do, he'll give you 1,500 Apexis crystals. Afterwards, he'll then start to give you a daily quest to kill five rare mobs in Tanan Jungle and collect five corrupted Apexis fragments from them. And when you hand that in, he will give you 2,000 Apexis crystals a day. So what am I talking about Apexis crystals when I should be talking about Baleful Gear? But the point is, they are interwoven. They are linked. They are consuming each other like the serpent Ouroboros eating itself. So when you find a piece of this Baleful Gear, it operates like the gear does on the Timeless Isle. It doesn't have any specialization as such. It goes to the specialization that you have your loot set for or what you're currently in, depending on on your settings right click onto it and then it will construct a piece of gear a piece of armor a weapon or a trinket yes you can also get weapons as well that's 650 and blue as standard however however you might be able to be fortunate enough to proc it as a 675 epic piece of gear so which creatures drop the baleful tokens well any single solitary mob in Tanan Jungle has the potential to do so, whether or not they're rare or not. But the rare mobs have a very high chance indeed to drop a Baleful token, or at least currently on the PTR anyway. But if you are unlucky enough to kill a rare mob and it doesn't yield a Baleful token, then oh my goodness, don't worry, the Bukake Gear Guide kicks back in again and the chances are you'll still land yourself a 655 blue anyway. But it's not just rare mobs in Tanan that can drop the baleful pieces either. Completing certain chapters of the garrison campaign mission, you will be rewarded with a piece as well. Grab that, right click onto it, and you'll be able to convert that into either a 650 or a 675 epic. Hell, you see that gnome behind me? He offered me a piece of baleful gear if I'd go round the back of the garrison with him and let him give me a hand job. And that's his wife stood next to us with the firework strapped on her back. She said she'd give me another piece of baleful gear if she could come round and watch. Well, needless to say, of course, I took them up on their offer. So how does this all link back to the Apexis crystal vendor that we have in our garrison outpost? Well, after about 90 minutes to two hours worth of baleful gear farming, I managed to get 20 pieces. And if you have 20,000 Apexis crystals available, you can purchase the empowered Apexis fragment from him. And that will convert any single solitary piece of baleful gear that you've managed to get, whether it be the 650 version or the 675 version, to a 695 epic piece of gear, which is crazy. So you can literally grab the 1,500 Apexis crystals that he has on offer every day to get the five fragments from the rare mobs, which will most likely yield you a couple of pieces of baleful gear there. Go and make sure you do your Apexis crystal dailies like a good little drone and grab yourself a few thousand there because you're getting 2,000 for them at your garrison outpost in Tanan in 6.2. And within no time whatsoever, you'll be able to buy these tokens like candy and gear yourself up like a dirty Japanese where he's... I 
think we understand where the title comes from now. So there we go. That is how you can gear up your character. And it's not just your main character. Your alts are going to be flying up in probably next to no time as well. But I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media as well as Twitch for live streaming. Those links are in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.